Master Brain Bites. Brad M73 and Cattle and Crops. And whatever this is. The C4 engine. Um, I've heard that this is actually like a build of Unity, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. Uh, people talk a lot on the forums about the Unity engine, so I just don't know. Guys, I am Brad M73. Welcome to the Cattle and Crops dev map. Uh, today is June t uh, no, 9th, 2017. And um, Master Brain Bites has finally released the first tech demo for cattle and crops. So um, you can pause the screen if you want to read all this, but um, you know, it gives us a little bit of how to use the control. I will uh, point out that to anybody who might be jumping into this, the, um, the cab control and UI handling, the left control button is not bound. So um, you'll actually have to go in to your settings. I'll show you how to do that right now. And, uh, and you have to map it yourself. It's really easy to do. But um, you just hit the escape button, go to your settings, uh, go to controls, and then scroll down until you find release mouse right here. Um, click in this first box, which will be blank. Uh, click that and hit your left control key if you want to, you know, have this and you know, how they're telling you to set your controls. And then you click apply and then save. Um, as you all also saw, uh, it does support a variety of resolutions. Uh, I don't know if it supports up to 2K because I don't, I don't have a 2K monitor. But um, you know, you, you will. It'll start out in a windowed version, so you will have to come in here, set your screen resolution, make sure you click full screen, and enable uh, frame rate sync if you can. <clears throat> um, I can I haven't tried this but um you know two samples uh or two sample anti aliasing looks fine to me. Um you can also play around with some of the features now. Something uh especially something like vegetation render distance will probably cripple your PC and if you max out some of these settings you will definitely see a huge and I'm talking a massive decrease in performance. Um, you know, especially if you have a lower end PC, I've got like a pretty high end PC and I'm still getting crushed, but, um, you know, here, you know, we, I do have, um, all the textures, the dynamic lighting and things like that on high. Um, I did mess around with, uh, the vegetation render distance, but I think, you know, kind of keeping it in the center is pretty good for the, the most part. And um, if you look, you can actually see if I detach the mouse here and get a cursor. It's going to blow out the uh, the render distance to maybe, you know, 100 yards or, or, you know, 75 to 100 yards, what I would estimate that to be. Um, and you can actually see it out on the field. Now, if I go into my settings and I blow this out, let's just max it out really quick. I'm going to apply this. Now, I'm not sure what the imposter red render distance is. I haven't actually uh, played around with that at all yet. Um, it does take a second when I'm clicking here. It does take a second to do that. But you can see the render distance of the, uh, of the plants out in the fields. If we look out, you know, way out on the, you know, towards the horizon, you can see that that's really bumped up. But my frame rate, I can, you might not be able to tell so much in the video because I'm only recording at 30 frames a second, but I can tell that there's a, you know, a pretty big drop in frame rate. And unfortunately, because this game is not go through steam, I can't actually see uh, what my frame rate is. And there's kind of a look at the ground textures and the plant textures. The plant textures to me kind of seem strange like the little stock sticking up. I don't, I don't know why, but it just kind of seems a little bit strange. Uh, we'll come back to the tractor here in just a second. Uh, but I want to take a look, <clears throat> you know, at the map just for a moment. Um, we can detach the, the cursor again. We can come down here. If I zoom all the way out, you can actually see this is the entire map and we're just right here in the center. Um, it is supposed to be a developer map or development map. So later on, uh, you know, we'll hopefully see a larger map uh, when the game is fully released. Now, one thing I'm going to come out and do is just kind of take a look at some of these homes 
and you know some of the detailing on them um you know you can see a really nice um uh, stucco effect to the walls and the, you know the the texture resolution is really really nice and um i'm going to see if we can catch some cars coming through here up oh, here's one stop um, the cars are kind of a mixed bag. Um, they have like a frosted windshield. Oh my gosh, he's running me over. They've got that. Fr Some have like a frosted windshield look. Others, you can kind of, you can't see into them, but they ha basically have texture maps uh, that look like, you know, seats and things like that. What are these things? Oh, it's just like foliage. <clears throat> we actually have some, you know, cargo containers, which are just kind of here, not really doing anything. We've got this nice big open area. Um, I want to find, I want to find some different cars. I mean, we do, there are, you know, quite a few different cars. The cars are much more detailed than, you know, we're used to seeing. Um, you can see the car right there kind of did like a little swervy maneuver, which um, the cars do that. They'll... They'll come and just randomly swerve all over the place. So there's definitely some uh, UI things going on. I'm actually going to reset this because the uh, lower frame rate is definitely bugging me. Apply, come on, and save. I am. I do have this installed to a, an SSD. I've got a one terabyte solid state drive in my PC, so. Um, you know, they're if if you if you're running a traditional hard drive, um, yeah, you might uh, be feeling my pain here, or not. You're going to be feeling way more pain than me. Um, yeah, we've got some. Uh, we've got our little German bakery here, and um, I guess that's a croissant with coffee and a, a cupcake or something equals love. Okay. Takai. Um, we do have one field. I think this is the only field on the map. Yeah, here you can see cattle and crops tech demo. And these signs are actually posted all over the map. So yeah, uh, we've got we do have a field that's got some water in it. We'll come and drive through that a little bit later. Um, you can kind of see uh, there there is a nice puddly effect. Uh, or at least a wet effect. And if we run over here, I think I'm going in the right direction. Some more cars driving around. If we come over here, there's kind of a, a little area where we can do some off-roading, or, or not necessarily off-roading, but it's kind of like a vehicle uh, course that you can drive to kind of show you how the suspension works. Um, in different situations and, and so on. So um, the tab, <clears throat> let's see here, the tab, we're supposed to be able to hit the tab button to to move between different vehicles. Um, I have not gotten it to work, but let's um, go ahead and map that. We're going to say next vehicle, and I'm going to hit the tab button. And the tab button still doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, did I, I don't think I saved it, did I? Did I not save it? Uh, next vehicle, yep. Yeah. Apply. <laughs> and then, come on, save. We got some farming to do here. And then save. And there we go. So now I'll hit, ah, and there we go. So let's tab. <laughs> we, we started right over here on this uh, corner. And, um... Here's the tech demo sign. Uh, let's go into the barn really quick. This I, I think is probably where, you know, we're gonna have cows. It looks like a cow barn. There goes a red car. So there's a, you know, there's a good variety of vehicles in the tech demo. Um, and I'm just kind of looking at the detail here. We're not in the sunlight, so it looks a little bit different. Um, one cool thing is if I, we can actually speed up time. Check this out. Ooh, look at the shadows. Here we've got the night sky. And, oh, it, I'm not sure if you saw there was some rain there. 
Um, this does get a little bit uh, glitchy as far as the frame rate. It's not perfectly smooth. <clears throat> and that's because the lighting engine, you know, in most games uh, can be very demanding on your on your GPU. So if you're running a lower end PC and you actually see some pauses in the video, um, that's actually exactly what, you know, is happening. I'm trying to, to fast forward until maybe, oh gosh, it's so painful when you try to walk. Um... Uh, <laughs> but it, it's really, it, it does have a very cool effect, um, you know, as the uh, sun passes over. I wish it was more smooth, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Um, I was hoping to be able to get, you know, a nice steady rain just to kind of show you guys the rain, but I'm not sure if we're going to get that or not. Oh, there. No, looks like we get a couple sprinkles, but I don't think we're going to get any rain. So let's uh, get the sun to a nice position uh, and we'll kind of move on to the next barn. Um, this just looks like where you're going to be storing vehicles. And I don't know. Oh, the fact that I just do. Uh, that's weird. I've not been able to open a door in this game so far. And then I just walk up to that one and it just randomly opens. I think not. Um, just trying to click. Nothing. What did I do over here that was different? Um, oh, oh, and you get a flashlight. Though, it must be like a chest light because um, it does not, you know, it doesn't show you actually holding a flashlight. Uh, so I don't know exactly how to open these doors. I don't know what, whoops. I don't know what I did before, but uh, I don't know if they are all openable. This one may or may not be. I mean, there's a slider up there, but I'm gonna, I'm going to assume that you know you'll be able to open all these. Yeah, nothing nothing seems to to do it. So I have no maybe wait, mouse click maybe maybe mouse click no. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. But anyway, this is, I guess, your the, the farm area, the farmal area. Uh, let's see if this panel, if we can do anything with this panel. Maybe turn these lights on. Maybe not. What does this say? Riechen Wugens and Schleisen Kogen. No, that's not what it says. That totally didn't make any sense. Um, so we have a Kokerling uh, disc or cultivator here and you can see it's got some really nice details uh, the um, the movement and the the mouse movement is a little bit quick so you'll probably have to reduce your uh, mouse sensitivity a little bit but um, the detail on this thing is actually really really nice um, I mean we have things like there's your looks like a tax stamp right there uh, in the center. Um, the license plate is really really good. Oh no, there's a tornado. Oh wait, no, it's just the marker. Uh, if we move out here, I mean, look how much detail. If I just pause it, look how much detail is is on there. Um, Neater Saxon, what is it? Neater Saxon. I don't know where that is. If that's a real place or not, but. Um, there is my German license plate. And uh, just kind of panning around the uh, tractor here. Just to look at some of the detail. Ooh, we can get underneath it. And it looks like it's pretty generic on the bottom. I want to see if I can see this tax stamp up close, but I don't think so. I don't think the draw distance is going to let us. So we've got our, our middle-aged, you know... 30, you know, mid 30s balding worker here with a nice clean lab coat on or something. Um, and notice how he is kind of integrated into the seat. <laughs> that can that can only be super painful. Um, now, what's what is kind of cool though is I can, you know, you can detach certain things. Uh, you can move the steering wheel. I can open the doors. 
Um, closing them sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. This one opens the other side. And like this one, I, I can't get this to work. Uh, you also have like your keys. We can actually turn everything on. But if you can't get, you know, like the right door to work, you can always uh, come back here and close it. Um, oh, there's like a sunroof, which is kind of nice. You can uh, open it or come on, close it. Oh, there we go. Now it's closed. Uh, it's either open or closed, though. But the, um, the skylight, you can actually kind of tilt that up. Or down to uh, different heights which is kind of nice and there's you know things like windshield wipers and it's just a variable wiper there so yeah pretty nice um, let's go ahead and uh, attach up the uh, the cultivator here and we will start with our first mission well the first and only mission as far as i can tell all right drive to the field so let's uh do a, like a nice external view one thing i will notice is that you know if you're still and you start off you'll actually see the front wheel spin a little bit so i'm gonna i'll go three two one and then i'll start driving forward three two, one, go. So hopefully you can see how the front wheel kind of spins a little bit. I don't know. That just seems a little unrealistic to me. Um, but anyways, let's drive up here to the field. Now we have to extrude the cultivator. I would, I don't think a lot of younger players are going to know what the heck extrude means. Um, so I think that they should, you know, update the English a little bit, uh, make that unfold because otherwise, yeah, people are just not going to get it. Um, work on this. Oh, you can't work on this field? Oh, yes, I can, because I am. So there's not currently any sound effects. Oh, and there are these uh, track lines. I'm not sure if this is just for the demo or if it's something that we'll be able to turn on, you know, for all the harvesting. But anyway, there they are. And now it tells us to raise the cultivator. So we'll just go to the end of the field here. Um, you'll also notice that there's no dirt or anything like that flying up from the cultivator. And there's no cultivation sound, which kind of makes it a little strange in figuring out how you cultivate. Um, now it asks us to turn our tractor 180 degrees to the right. <clears throat> yet we're supposed to be on the same on the same line I don't understand and if we if we drive this around and we're like okay here we are it tells us oh no we have to go to this next lane now I'm gonna just jump out here really quick and we're gonna go into first person and I'm gonna let you see uh, how the tire marks um, there it actually does leave tire marks that are in the shape of the tires um, depressed into the uh, dirt which is really cool and unlike with Farming Simulator, these actually have, you know, some depth to them. So, yeah, definitely cool beans there. And, you know, the shadows follow the contours and everything. So, you know, again, I'm on a high-end PC. I don't know if the low-end PCs um, are going to be able to, uh, to handle the uh, tire treads, but there they are. Um, I'm just going to clean this up here because, you know, we'll come back. We'll do this other row here in just a second um, now I do notice that I can cultivate at extremely high speeds so hopefully they will get that fixed but um, you know I kind of get more of a farm expert feel if you guys have watched my short series on farm expert um, or even um, professional farmer um, I do get a little bit of a feel of those type of games with, you know, having to do things manually. Now, obviously, this is just the beginning of the game, and um, 
you know, we are supposed to be able to hire workers uh, to come and, and do our fields. And apparently they're going to be a lot smarter than they are in Farming Simulator, though, you know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. All right, so I'm just going to line up here, and we're going to lower the cultivator again, and hopefully we will get the... Uh, whoops, no, lower. I was trying to go into the cockpit view here. Now, unfortunately, we only get the uh, these two guidance lines for just, you know, coming down twice onto the uh, the field. Once we get here, it's like, cultivate the field to 60%. And you're like, okay. So we will do that. Uh-oh. Wait a second. I wish I could read what these user actions are. This is the steering wheel, I think. I, see, I don't think I can adjust my seat up and down, which is part of the problem. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. It's just moving the steering wheel. there's the you know this is how we can fold it if we so want and so on all right anyway let's continue on there is a time limit on this of I think it's well I don't know if it's a time limit but um, apparently cattle and crops they're gonna take the user data uh, for when you complete the, these um, this mission, and they're gonna basically do kind of a leaderboard, like, okay, who's the best? It probably won't be me. There'll be some hacker out there that'll complete it in you know one second and get top of the leaderboard, which is what always happens. But um, that's just the way it goes, right? All right. Let's see, what are we up to? I can't work on this field. Yes, I can. And I will. So yeah, now we can go like really super fast. Seems like there's no drag on the equipment at this point. Again, tech demo. And guys, do not forget to, to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think so far. Um, is it you, Do you think it's going to dethrone Farming Simulator as the number one Farming Simulator PC game? Um, or do you think, uh, you know, eh, it's not really what you're looking forward to? and Or you just want to see, you know, you want to wait and see more as they add more features and things like that to the... Um, uh, to the early access. So far, I absolutely love the scenery. Um, as far as like the actual, you know, tractors and what we're going to be doing on the farm, that I'm not quite sold on just yet. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. But my my first impressions, um, I was a, a little bit disappointed because we only get this one tractor and a cultivator. Um, everything else is basically just, you know, exploration. You know, you can kind of drive around the map, explore things a little bit, and, um, and that's really all you can do. But they, they have said that they are going to, you know, expand things. So as they do, you know, I'll have additional videos. Um, so be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the little bell button so that you get... Uh, you know, email confirmations on when I post new videos. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on cattle and crops or farming simulator or any of the other uh, games that I, I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I really appreciate it. And uh, it looks like we got to 60% complete. <clears throat> uh, 
Come on, let's go. I do wish that there was, you know, some type of a sound with the cultivator. Um, and it just looks very generic, especially, you know, this, you know, if, if I just jump out here for a second, let's go back into first person. You know, we have this hard line delineating, you know, right here, delineating what we've cultivated to what we haven't. That I don't like. They're going to need to kind of do something to smooth those over, which I'm, you know, hopefully they will over time. Again, this is a very early tech demo, so all we can do is keep our fingers crossed that Master Brain Bites uh, gets it done. Now, is there some water out here on the field? I actually think I see a little bit of moisture there on the field. Um, I don't know how... I don't know if there will be a way to, to track the moisture on the field. I just do not know. Okay, we're almost done. Probably like two more passes and we'll be all finished with this. Maybe three at the most if we miss a couple little spots here and there. Now I do have the, um, you know, you can see how fast we can go. And I do have, you want to be a little bit careful towards the edges of the field because, you know, you can skip a little bit of the field if you're not careful. Oh, I, I absolutely love these, the road detail. Look how much detail is there. They've really got, you know, some really nice detail on the roads. Anyway, back in, back to work, Brad. All right, yeah, I think we're going to be able to get this with this this last pass. And we're just going to go for it. And we are pretty much done. Now, when we're finished with this mission, it, it doesn't just go bling and, you know, finish. We actually have to hold our buttons down and uh, click the, this complete mission. Um, it's going to send my my time and my progress, 92.85, whatever that means. And I'm just going to say OK. Um, and that'll go off into, you know, server land, wherever that uh, may be. So let's jump on our tractor here really quick. And we're going to just going to kind of, oh, I got to turn my wipers off because this is really getting kind of annoying. Uh-oh. We've got a car coming up from behind. Oh, let's fold up our uh, our equipment here. We'll just kind of take a quick gander at how vehicles behave. Oh, no, he's following me. And oddly, there's like a little dotted line here on the map. Or no, it's not a dotted line. What is that? I, I don't know. I don't understand what these... Um, there's a kind of a yellow line here. I have no idea what that's supposed to represent. Absolutely none. But it, it kind of circul you know, circularized... No. Encap encapsulates. There's the... There's the word I'm looking for. Uh, these two fields. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if maybe that's what we're going to be owning. I just don't know. But um, now one of the things I was a little bit disappointed with is how flat the map is. But I'm going to chalk it up to, well, it's a, you know, it's just a tech demo. And um, ooh, look at that. There's a BMW who is obviously drunk because he can't figure out what he's wanting to do. Oh, there's another one. 
And if we if we come out here, you'll actually see as we come up to the sign here no passage. You are approaching the border area. Please turn around immediately. I guess they have minefields. So this must be like back in 80s East Germany or something like that. No, I'm just that's that's not very nice. <laughs> Um, I love the trees. The trees look really nice and natural. Um, but yeah, the, the train just needs some more work, I think. Um, but again, I mean, that's something that's probably going to come with the full release. And, you know, we're just going to have to stick it out with this little tech demo map uh, for the next several months. They're supposed to have the, the full release, I want to say, like November of this year with the, you know, version 1.0, gone gold, whatever. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see if that happens. Because I, you know, I'm not convinced that it will at this point. Um, and we're just going to drive through some of the mud again. You know, if we jump out of the tractor, uh, we can take a look. See, I can't crouch or anything like that, so I can't look at this in really any more detail than I I am right now but um, it looks pretty good I like the way the uh, the field textures are working um, supposedly though um, you know I'm not seeing myself sink into the mud like I would really expect and, and especially not like I've seen in some of the cattle and crops uh, demo, uh, demo videos that I've seen earlier so you know, I, I don't have any trouble driving around. You know, the, the tractor just seems like it's driving completely normally. And, um, yeah. Let's go over here. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I, get, I could always drive off-road over there to it, but why drive off-road when you can, you can drive on-road? Oh, here's some of the funny cars. Let's um, Let's prepare to jump out here. Oh no, these are not the funny cars. What is this? Is this a Jaguar? I think that's a Jag. Not sure. This is what I was talking about. See, there's like seats and apparently they're hauling bricks, but there's nobody in the car. I think they really need to redo that. That, that does not look very good to me. Apparently, I have not turned the wipers off, so let's try this again. Let's go that way. Oh, my gosh. It just goes faster. Now it goes off. Okay. Ooh, there's a van. Wait, did it just... Did it just disappear? Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty... Did I, did I see a van back there and it... I mean, I could just be going insane, but um, with, that's probably, you know, the case. All right, I'm going to drop this piece of... Wait. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, there's a front weight. Okay, that's weird. Um, let's just drive this course here. Kind of show you guys how... The suspension works. Nothing really exciting there on the first set, but, oh, now it's quite, oh, uh-oh. Gotta, I gotta concentrate to keep it on the, uh, little pylons here oh my gosh oh my gosh um i have heard uh, some people say that you know there is support for the logitech g27 uh, which has unfortunately been discontinued by logitech but there might still be some floating around out there for extremely high prices um Oh, we got a couple more left. So there we got a little look at the um, the suspension, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's head back up. 
I have no idea why there are just a bunch of cones right there, but can we even knock any of them over? Oh gosh, apparently they are made of adamantium or something. All right, let's let's check this out. Oh, look at the suspension at work. So, pretty cool, I have to say. Now we can just turn around again. And we have another path we can take. We go over them very slowly. And then there you can kind of see how things move from the side. Let's uh let's go all out. Oh my gosh. Oh look how the cab must have like an air ride cab or something. Let's go all out. Boom. <laughs> oh, and then this one's interesting. Where we have kind of like a ditch here. And you know, you could try driving along the the ditch in different ways. To see how things work. And again, I think this is just a demonstration on how the uh the suspension is supposed to ride. I love how the driver, uh, if you notice, if you keep an eye on him or if you've been watching him at all, he'll reach down from time to time like he's shifting something. Oh, still got one more to go. So I think that's pretty cool. And then here, um, you know, we're just driving up over the top. And damn, we can get up to top speed. Let's uh, stop here at the bottom. Go full speed. I don't really get the um, the impression that the vehicle has a whole lot of weight or that it's dramatically affected by um, you know driving up and down these uh, hills. But anyway, you could you know if you if you've got the tech demo or if you decide to to become a uh, supporter, I think you can actually purchase uh, the tech demo. For, I think it's like thirty three dollars or something like that. Um, again, go to www.cattleandcrops.com for more information on that. I just don't really know right off the top of my head. Um, before I end the uh, the episode here, I think I just want to do like a really quick driving tour around the uh, outer circumference of the map. There's really not a whole lot to see, but um, there is a gas station, which is kind of cool. So we'll drive past that. And uh, maybe I'll I'll see something new that I you know haven't really seen before. And again, I mean the 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 biggest thing that that bugs me at this point about the game is um, let's see here. T -t. Oh, there we go. There it does have kind of a cruise control. You hit T. And there's a little blue marker on the uh, speed gauge down to the bottom right that like now it's at zero uh it goes up to about i don't know seven miles per hour i don't is this no it's kilometers per hour then it goes up to 15 kilometers per hour and then up to 40. so you know you can kind of hit those um those different speeds and the tractor will kind of take some time getting up to it. It's not super responsive like farming simulator is where, you know, as soon as you hit the, the uh, cruise control, it immediately rockets off. Um, so we've got some, a gas station, you know, I don't know whether or not we'll have to come to these in order to fill up our tractors, but 
pretty indicative of what a European gas station looks like in Germany. Pretty cool. Our farm, I think, is that way. Oh no! It's coming right for us. Yeah, so they've got some work to, to do on the vehicle AI. It's not great at this point. But again, I'm going to chalk it up to the tech demo. Um, oh, and I, I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask me to turn my beacons on. See, look, the drivers, they just like, it seems like when you drive towards them, they just want to swerve over into your lane and, and try to hit you. So, you know, you got to be aware of that. <laughs> got to be aware of the crazy drivers. <clears throat> This uh, is basically just taking us along the northern edge of the map. Uh, I don't know if that right there is supposed to be the vehicle store. Uh, we can drive into the center of, of the little area, the, the little town. We can take a look at that really quick. But yeah, I don't know exactly what that's uh, supposed to represent. Yeah, got a little house out there. And I don't I just don't think there's really anything super exciting out here to take a look at. So let's drive over here. We'll get things buttoned up for my first ever episode of Cattle and Crops. So I kind of want this to be the farm shop like where we, you know, buy vehicles but I just don't know I have no idea at this point uh, what it's supposed to be it kind of looks like it would be a showroom of some some sort but I don't know it could be the local community college for all I know <laughs> but there's no cars there so I don't know what it is all right, guys. Well, we are back here at the main farm, taking a quick look at our class Arion 530. Uh, definitely looks very, very nice. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, for more information, I'll have the link down in the video description to cattleandcrops.com in case you um, aren't exactly sure where to get it. You can actually register. You can get on the forums there. And if you know, if you want to pick up the uh, tech demo and get early access uh, like everybody else, um, you can do that there as well. Again, hit a like button if you think this game is going to be super awesome and hit a like, hit the like button if you think it's absolutely going to be terrible. Um, <laughs> either way, hit that like button. Helps me out tremendously. And please subscribe to keep updated on the, uh, the progress of cattle and crops. I am Bradham73. I will see you next time. Bye for now.